Have you ever wondered what makes house prices go up and down? Well, stick around as I break it down for you in just 60 seconds. First up, it's all about supply and demand. When more people want houses than there are houses, prices tend to rise. When less people want houses than there are houses available, then prices tend to fall. This is the supply and demand game. Guess what else impacts prices? The economy. When the economy is doing well, people have more confidence to buy, boosting demand and nudging those prices northward. When confidence is lacking, prices tend to go one way south. But wait, Factors like political events can also play a role. Remember Brexit or even Liz Truss. Yep, big political shifts can create uncertainty which can affect the housing market too. Construction. New housing developments can flood the market with supply, cooling down those price hikes. Essentially, it's all about balance. Now, for the obvious one, interest rate. When they're low, mortgages are more affordable, increasing demand. But if rates shoot up, it can only put a damper on buyer enthusiasm. Here's a twist, location. Prime spots near good schools Schools, transportation and amenities can send prices soaring. It's the convenience factor in full play. But beware of the housing bubble. When prices skyrocket unrealistically, a bubble might form and that's not good for the long run. A correction will need to be made. So there you have it. House prices dance to the tune of supply, demand, the economy, politics, interest rates, location and even the dreaded housing bubble. Stay informed and keep those property dreams alive. For more property tips, don't forget to give me a follow.